and welcome to Clary Tale and welcome to weekly vlog number seven. I don't know why I started doing this because I can't stop but I've done it since week one now so I have to continue. Um, this week I am starting out in Bridlington and then heading across back home to Liverpool and that's on Tuesday. I've got the tickets all sorted and really um, I'm gutted to be leaving here because I'm gutted to leave Simon but I'm excited to be home in my own bed and everything like that. Uh, Simon will be joining me over there eventually. He's just finishing his um, accountancy course here and he should be over shortly so that's exciting. I'm still unemployed. I've got two more weeks of fun employment so I'm just making the most of them. Um, I actually had a phone call from my soon-to-be manager and she's given me all the times and all the places that I need to be for the next two weeks once I start at the end of this month which is really exciting so I'm going to be covering a few branches in my training going to a few places and seeing how everything works in each of those places. Then after those two weeks I've got two weeks training at the HQ in Crawley so that's exciting near London I don't go down south much at all so it'll be nice to go down and down there and I've got a few friends down there so hopefully I'll get to see them on my days off and things like that so yeah it's going to be an exciting four weeks once I start training she seemed really excited on the phone as well so that really made me excited too so I'm meeting up with Simon after work so I'm going to leave shortly and we're going to go to Tesco get some dinner in and we're just going to watch a few movies tonight I think um it's our last sort of night together because I leave at six tomorrow so just make the most of a nice little relaxing evening and then yeah get the train over to Liverpool and have the rest of the week in Liverpool and um, thank you so much for all the lovely things you've been saying about my latest weekly vlog it's just gone live I've already had some lovely messages so thank you so so much also I've just created a Facebook page for a Clary Tale so if you'd rather follow on Facebook than Twitter and Instagram or if you don't even have any of those social medias definitely go find me on Facebook and I'll put all my latest links and things on there for you to see so you don't miss anything good morning well it's afternoon now I have got a lot to do I should not be sitting here on this papazan I've got an empty suitcase down here that won't pack itself though I wish it would I think there are two types of people in this world one is someone that packs two weeks in advance to any trip and then there's me who waits until last minute I am still packing the morning of my trip that's how bad I am <laughs> um, so I just think I find it so boring with the folding and the finding space and the working out what to take what not to take <laughs> first world problems I know um but yes yeah, so I'm just putting off doing that basically right now I've just been on my computer and things I'm just enjoying not having much to do having a bit of uh, relaxed time because when I get home I've got so much to do just I've got my lessons learning my car all that sort of stuff my driver's lessons opticians dentists I need to um I'm going to be looking after my nephew and niece and um, I've just got so much. Oh, I've got a hen do this weekend as well, which I'm really, really excited about. I'll tell you more about that when we come to it at the weekend. So it's just going to be all go. So that's why I've just had a really slow morning. <laughs> um, so yes, I'm going to get ready with this packing. I've got to go and sort the house. So more news on the house front. <laughs> Last night, Simon and I had a brainwave. I can hear my dad shouting did it hurt <laughs> no it didn't hurt we had a brainwave last night and we on the website there are houses available right now to move into July August this July August uh, there's one that's smaller not better than the the one we love with the ups, the third room upstairs but we can move into it now and I know the dream house with the upstairs is December January it doesn't seem far away but but it is it's all it's April now January is a long time to wait and we've already put off moving in with me going to America I know that's my fault we just want to move in as soon as possible and waiting to I think you've got to put what you think is the priority the priority is just moving over to Liverpool living there together whether it's a smaller house but we might just be in it for only two years three years as a stepping stone into one of a bigger house there's a really gorgeous house that's not coming to this development for another few years we could move into that after a few years at least we're on the right coast together we're saving together and we're uh, with having a smaller cheaper house we'll be able to save more per month and so this is all the stuff we've been looking at and thinking about that maybe we move in together as a stepping stone for now 
in a view of having an even better dream house than the one I was showing you uh, because the dream house I showed you was only a three bed um, so the the even better dream house is a four bed bigger nicer and one of those houses that's there you stay in for life so that's something we've been thinking about nothing's been done yet but we're gonna go I'm gonna go to the development on Thursday talk to them see just weighing up our options really so but that's something we've been thinking about because um we're very disheartened about moving into the attic bedroom in january it's a long way away and we're both um we're both ready we just want to move in together um we don't want to wait we just don't want to and we don't want to waste money on renting and you know so we'll see bear with us we don't know yet we're getting there we're getting there these decisions are so hard adulting is hard guys <laughs> sort of sorting out my room a little bit it's still an absolute mess I think I've made it more messy by trying to tidy it but I've got some things for the charity bag some things to throw out but it's just such a big task and I want to be able to have a place for everything especially if I'm gonna be living here for the next few weeks so that is today's plan and probably the rest of the week's plan um, I'm just uh, off to pick up my little nephew from nursery and we're gonna go on the swings afterwards so I'm looking forward to that I haven't seen him for weeks I'm really excited we're going on the swings. Do you want to... A bit too hot. Like... Oh, a bit too hot? Yeah, to take my coat off. I love your shirt. Look at this Mickey Mouse. Isn't that smart? I got you that, didn't I? Oh, thank you. From the back? Yeah. Ready? Faster. Faster. Open the air. Open the air. You're so brave. Yeah. I'm not open the air. Big one. Big one. Do you want to go on the seesaw? Oh. <laughs> swing. As you get on it. Look at Lara's on this swing. Whee! Do you want to get on this one?
at all this chocolate I've still yet to eat. I've got Easter egg. I've not touched these yet. We just got in from town. I do love my little hometown. It's so familiar and it's so nice. It's it's just like it's home, isn't it? I love Yorkshire, but I do love being home and I can't wait for time to oh, it's just a mess back here. Sorry, these are all my coats. I need to sort everything out because this room's a mess. I've got my bin bag gonna carry on with everything in town i got contact lens um solution and contact lenses for free she just gave them to me i asked well i did, i put my tests i booked my test and i just said can i buy some contacts to get me through through the test and she said you need to wear contacts for the test anyway so she gave me free contacts brilliant and a solution so laughing <laughs> um and i've got my test next monday so I've just done that. That's all I've done really. I've just cracked these bad boys open to get me through all this tidying. <laughs> Good afternoon. I've changed my um, calendar. I've put my poster calendar for my Disney poster calendar here um, and swapped it, my Thomas Kincaid one over there because since it's the only one that's in date, <laughs> I have about 12 or 13 calendars that are not in date and this is the only one that is. I thought it'd be nice to have it right here. Anyway, um, I'm just quickly getting ready. Actually, I don't think even think I need this coat. It's so hot outside. England's had some sort of heat wave and I'm all for that. Um, we are going to a show home today of the smaller house that I've been talking about. There's a show home of it elsewhere. Obviously, we won't be moving here, but it's just to see the show home so we just want to go and get a, sort of an idea of the size of it so me and mum dad and we're looking after my niece today so we're gonna go and all of us are gonna go and have a look at the show home and at least then if it's too small then I'm, I can be like nah I don't want that or if it's fine then that's great news so that is what we're doing right now I've done loads of jobs this morning we've had to um, get car insurance and all this other stuff for my car to put my plate on and things like that I've actually been looking around my room for I basically have about five antenna toppers that I've been collecting throughout the years from Disney I'll show you them at some point and I've just found my um, key ring that I bought in Epcot after my first program because after my first program I was ready to get a car and then I just never did and this key, I bought this key ring in the intention of putting it on my car keys and I've kept it in a special place until this moment so I can't wait to put this on my car keys later and I'll show you around my car later maybe tomorrow morning as well I'm taking my coat off what a glorious day it is oh I need to get my flip-flops out get my skirt and flip-flops my standard uh, America Florida outfit that I wore every single day for a year <laughs> I miss it there is just something about sunshine look at that blue look at that blue sky yeah there's definitely something about the sunshine that puts everyone in a better mood this is it oh oh this is cute oh it's much bigger than i thought this is lovely I like it. Big toilet, look at this. I think we have to just This is so good, yeah, definitely. And then in here we've got a massive, we just opened this door, massive cupboard under the stairs. All the Christmas decks can go in there. <laughs> I love this, you have to get yourself a white table eventually. Yeah, looks so good, doesn't mm -hmm. it? And a big one like that to fit for. And actually, you could fit six people on that table, yeah. no problem. That's true. That I didn't. I thought it was just going to be a small round table no, from the no, plan. This is things. massive. Going upstairs. Going upstairs. You've got plenty of walls here to put all your yeah, paintings. <clears throat> this is a very pink and princessy oh. room. <laughs> oh gosh, look at this. <laughs> so this very pink room would be our study. <laughs> Um, then this one is the spare bedroom, which is quite a lot bigger than I thought. And then we've got a bathroom. And then this would be our bedroom. There's quite a lot of space here. And then this is the ensuite. And then we've got a lovely big wardrobe here as well. Yeah, it's it's a lot 
smaller than the Alton, but it's still really nice. I'm happy with this. If you saw my weekly vlog a few weeks ago, my dad was in the middle of painting this and now it's complete. Isn't it gorgeous? He's just put a frame around it. So nice. I really wish I got some of your artistic uh, capabilities, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> and it's called A Study in Blue. A Study in Blue. Only blue paint used. Really? Everyone's Only. going to want to buy it. <laughs> How much? No, no, it's not for sale. <laughs> We've come to the park again after picking up my nephew. <laughs> Let's have a little sit down and a little chat, shall we? So, the house. I was actually really, really happy with it. I was going, I went in there thinking that it was just going to be tiny, nowhere near as good as the dream house that I've showed you before. But actually, I preferred the downstairs in that house than the downstairs in the dream house. Um, yeah, obviously the upstairs isn't as good and there isn't a third floor, but Simon and I don't need that. So we are actually really happy with it. I've sent him videos of going through downstairs and upstairs and he really liked it as well. So we're thinking about bringing them tomorrow, working out the finer details maybe putting an offer in but i'll keep you posted on that good afternoon it has been quite a frantic and stressful afternoon i um, have basically been calling mortgage advisors and solicitors and um, the development plots and the simon back and forth and basically to put a uh, to put an offer in or to take the the house off the sale off for sale you have to send a big list of things, really important things, to the housing developer. And without any, without any of those items, they can't take it off the market. So that's what we've been trying to do, and there's nothing more I can do right now. We've just got to wait for a few things. It's a bit stressful because I don't know if we're going to get it all in time before someone else comes in and takes it, but let's, let's hope that we can get it all done. Um, I'm just packing for the Hindu this evening. That's I've basically just done a little suitcase, so that's all sorted. And now my dad and I are about to take my new car for a spin. I can't wait to show you. I'm going to do a little tour and show you him and I'll tell you his name. So this is my new car. His name is Baymax because I thought who best will look after me than Baymax. So thank you all for your suggestions of names. But Baymax one, he's big and white and is going to look after me. Isn't it lovely? So if you see the reg plate, I am putting my own on there. So it's not going to be that one in the future but this is him isn't he lovely I'll go all the way around and I'll show you inside so also I'm going to get I've got about 10 Disney uh, antennas that I need to choose from <laughs> and then I'll show you inside is the inside of my new little car it's so nice I'll sit down right so this is the interior the steering wheel and on this I've got a sat nav and um, a camera for reversing which is the dream it's automatic as well so that's great do you like it and then this is the back seats I love it. I love it so, so much. Yay! Thanks, Baymax. You're the best. So, I haven't actually driven him yet. My dad drove him, but I'm getting there. I've, um, I'm hopefully going to be getting some lessons. I've called up two places to get some lessons, and I've not actually heard back from them yet, which is odd, but um, hopefully hear back from them soon so I can get my confidence up and I can start driving him. Yes, Baymax, I am satisfied with my care. So we've just worked out how to sync up using my phone Bluetooth and I've got it playing. How good's that on the car speakers? <laughs> oh my God, I love it. So it looks like there's nothing magnetic for me to put my cast member badge on. I'll That's just have to put, passive, yeah, I'll have to put a sticker here or yeah. something. So if you thought I was 
exaggerating about my antenna toppers. <laughs> Here they all are. <laughs> I actually have a plain black one somewhere. I can't find it. Um, so I've got this is a bit dusty. Um, Mickey, saucer hat Mickey, ice cream Mickey. Now that is brilliant. Epcot Mickey, USA Mickey. How cool is that? Obviously blue, very glitzy. And then I got two Dumbos because I was so worried that this first one would get stolen that I bought a second one. So if it ever got stolen, I've got one to uh, <laughs> replace it with. So I think I'm gonna have to put Dumbo on to start with, aren't I? Look at him, he's so cute. So my dad's just driving me to Lisa's flat. And Lisa is the girl whose hen party it is. I went to school with Lisa when we were 12. Um, it's her hen do for this weekend. I probably won't film too much because obviously it's going to be all about her. Uh, but every time I, maybe if I drop back a little bit, I'll tell you what we're up to. But there's loads of things planned. I think there's an escape room and we've got dinner and drinks. It's going to be really, really good. And I can't wait to sort of catch up with her and everything. It's going to be so, so good. It has been a manic day today. I have, oh, it's like inception. I have had such a stress with this mortgage so we can't do it at the moment we, there's just things that have just fallen through that we can't do nightmare and um, Simon's so gonna sort it out tomorrow but I'm here now with the girls and I just want to relax I can't wait to see everybody I'm here at the Hindu it's been such a lovely night there was a quiz and we had loads of pizza and sweets and things and it's just really nice I had a really good night so we're gonna go to sleep now and uh, see you in the morning so I've just had to step away from the hen party because I've just got a phone call about the mortgage. We're just one step away now from getting it. So Simon's sorting that out now. So fingers crossed things go okay. But I've just spoken to him and while I was out here, I thought I'd quickly speak to you. Having a lovely time. Obviously I don't want to video much in front of everybody. Uh, last night we did a pub quiz, which was so much fun. I actually want to do my own pub quizzes now whenever I have parties because of how fun it was. She did a PowerPoint, um, a PowerPoint presentation with all these questions. And it we just had such a laugh, I loved it. Uh, we stayed in, but we were just all getting to know each other and because obviously we don't all know each other, we're, we're her best friends from different parts of her life. We are just here at Clockworks for a little brunch and then we're heading off to the escape room. Look at this! <laughs> we need a team name. This is so cool! I have no idea what all this is. Look at all these locks. I hope it's I hope it's not this one. 30% pass rate. <laughs> I reckon it's that one. I'm hoping it's that one. one. It's the hardest one. Is it in this one? Are you doing the Ramage room? Okay. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, so cool. cool. <laughs> oh, 1940s spy theme. This looks like the two rooms to get the So, if you want, you need to take a briefcase in so it doesn't inform me. Who wants to say thank you? Um, so, with the briefcase, <laughs> it, yes. With the briefcase, it's going to be a three digit code and it will be the same on both sides. So, when yeah. you get into that room, I want to have a good look around for that three digit code. Um, but you are a good team, so as you're looking for the code, you will find keys and things to get you on your way and then I'm right behind you if you need anything. Well, we escaped and we're just walking across Liverpool to Lisa's back this view. Ah, Liverpool, I love you. Oh, that's yeah. fine. Well, you should have been drinking, yeah. <laughs> cheers. 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 So this is Lisa, Hiya. she's the bride to be. You had a good time so far? I am, yes. Your bridesmaids have done such a good job. They have. So, so it. good. Very lucky. The escape room was epic. So me and Lisa have known each other since school. 12 years old, we were put yeah. next to each other. We were 11, weren't we? Yeah, first year. First year, first day of school. Yeah. <laughs> and we, had, uh, we had a maths teacher that we used to laugh so much. She loved us and she never shouted at us, did she? She no. shouted at everyone else, but never shouted at us because <laughs> she loved us. And she's getting married in three weeks, aren't you? Yep. <laughs> Lisa's view is insane. <laughs> We've come to a place called Smuggler's Home. Look at this, we've got our own little private dining table. It's so cute. So everything in the Smuggler's Cove, if you can hear me over the music, is to do with um, Pirates of the Caribbean. So it's all really pirates themed. So cheers everyone! To the bride! Smugglers 
home and everything's based on Paris and the Caribbean. They've got such great theming of everything. It's so cool, there's chains and I think it's meant to be a bit of like a shipwreck and it, there's just so many quirky little bits to it. So I could try and show you. We've got barrels and lanterns. Yeah, it's very ca Pirates of the Caribbean. Look at all this stuff. And the, the menu is like a, <laughs> a little map. And this is the bar. <laughs> that looks amazing. Hendo, it's such a good little weekend. I loved it. It's so nice to have everyone come together for for somebody and celebrate them. So it was really, really nice. And last night was lots of fun, uh, lots of cocktails and lots of dancing. I really enjoyed myself. And then this morning, um, Anna, her bridesmaid, made us all bacon butties, which can't go wrong with that. And that is basically it. Uh, we have one more thing we have to do before we know that the mortgage is complete. We've got to wait for um, a credit check. And that gets done on Monday. So hopefully it, it should be fine, but we can't. I can't say for sure whether I've got my house just yet. You'll find out next week. So stay tuned for that. Fingers crossed. I'm dying to know myself. <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much for watching this weekly vlog please like this video if you did and subscribe if you are not already and we'll see you next week thank you so much for watching bye